Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. First one, let's create new new object for control all objects. Right mouse, new and null object. And let's change name controller okay then for move to anchor point center hold control double click palm behind icon click station tool and select this null object let's move to center and select all layers let's link to null object okay select this null press s change scale and let's press p make new passing keyframe and move it down then go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard or click here and right here plus 10 click ok nice and let's move it up ok then go to 10 keyframe again and move it down Select three frames, make easy, go to graph editor and let's select this graph, move to left and this move to right, let's see. Okay, select this last three frame, let's move to right, nice. And select these three frames, move to left, let's move to right like this, okay, that's good. So, back to shape frames and go to 3 shape frame, 1 to 3. Let's move it up. Go to 3 shape frame again, 1 to 3. Move it down. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, right now, let's select this main stroke and open inside, open rectangle 1 and rectangle pet 1. And let's change roughness for circle. Let's make roughness shape frame. Go to here. And let's change like this. Go to here. Make size shape frame. And click this icon. Go to here. Let's try change size like this. Let's go to solo. Click this icon for see background. Okay, nice. So select shape frames and make easy. Go to graph editor. Let's make graph like this. Let's see. Okay, let's go to unsolo. Back to shape frames and select this last shape frame. Move to right. Select shape frames. Move to right. Nice. And in this time. Let's select this main stroke, press U for C only key frames and select this main color. Let's open inside and open contents, rectangle 1, rectangle pet 1, click this icon. Okay, and let's make size key frame. Go to here and let's copy these coordinates, control C and select this control V. Okay, nice. And let's go to here, make roughness shape frame. Go to first shape frames. Again, let's copy this. Let's write here 495. Nice. And select shape frames, make easy. Go to graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Okay, and let's select this main color, press U for see only shape frames, click this icon for back to shape frames, and select this shadow, open inside, contents, rectangle 1 and rectangle pet 1, go to here, click this icon, make size shape frame and roughness shape frame, go to first shape frame, change this 495. And change this 
653. Select frames make easy go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Nice. So back to shape frames and let's press U for see only shape frames. Okay, not bad. So let's close shape frames and select this line left. Let's see. Okay, let's make shape frames. Go to add. Let's select these trim pads and open trim pads one and change and zero and make end shape frame. Go to fifth shape frames. Change one hundred. Select shape frames. Make easy. Go to graph editor, make smooth graph. Let's see. Okay, back to shape frames. Select this last shape frame. Move to left. Okay. So press U for see only shape frames. And let's see timing. Okay, let's select shape frames. Move to left. Let's move to left. Okay, nice. And go to here. Select this end, control C. Select this line left two, right and right two. Let's go to here and control V. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So select this line left two. Let's move to right for random animation. Okay, and select this line right, go to solo, and let's see. Okay, press U, and let's click end keyframe for close. Let's open inside, and change start like this, 100, and go to here, make start keyframe, go to here, change start zero. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make easy. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Okay, back to chip frames and press U for see only chip frames. Select this start, control C and let's unsolo. Select this line right to press U and close end chip frame. Let's open here and control V, press U and we can now start chip frames. Let's move to left. Nice. Let's move to right these shape frames. Okay, not bad. Let's select this line left to press U for C shape frames. And let's see here animation. Nice. And select shape frames. Let's move to the left. Okay, very nice. And let's close shape frames. Select this white. And let's control V, paste the stream pad animation. Let's see. Press U. Select this shape frame, move to left, go to graph editor. And let's make graph like this. Back to shape frames. And select these shape frames. Let's move to left. Move to left again. Nice. Okay, and in this time select this circle, press S, change scale 0. And in this time make scale chain frame, go to 10 chain frame, change 200. Go to 10 chain frame, change 165. Go to 10 chain frame, change 175. Select chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, go to pen tool and let's make one like this, Clearization tool. Go to stroke, change stroke width. Okay, and select this line left, press U, select end shape frames, control C. And select this shape layer and go to first second, control V. Okay, nice. 
and let's try chain stroke widths. Okay, let's open inside contents shape one, open stroke one, change pet cap to round cap for smooth line. Let's control D for duplicate, press R, change rotation 90 and chain stroke width press u okay and let's select the shape layer 2 move to here select pen tool and let's change size chain stroke width and let's move to here let's move to down Okay, press R, let's chain rotation like this. Change minus 90. And move to down. And move to right. Okay. So, go to first second. Hold this icon, select this ellipse tool. And hold shift, make one ellipse like this. Click section tool, chain stroke width. And go to here. Okay, and click fill, select this none, click OK, and go to add, open trim pads here, open trim pads 1, and change end like this, change 50. Okay, open ellipse 1, stroke 1, change bat cap to run cap, and, and let's make end keyframe, go to here, change 0, select keyframes, make easies. Okay, so select this shape layer, press R, chain rotation like this, 90, okay, and move to here, let's select the shape layer 2, chain stroke width, and select pen tool, hold this point, and move to down for chain size, okay, and select the shape layer, press S, change scale, and move to here. Let's change again, change stroke width. Okay, not bad. And in this time, let's select this. Controller, press U and select all keyframes. Let's move that up. Okay, let's see. Nice. And go to first second. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, let's select all keyframes. Press U. And select these all chip frames. Let's move to right. Let's move to left. Okay, not bad. And select this controller, press U. Select these last three chip frames, move to right. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's close keyframes and select this layer. Let's change stroke width. Okay, nice. Let's select the shape layer three, move to up, and this change point. Okay, nice. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.